This is what a date night looks like in Iron Mountain, Michigan. This is where Luke and I did our, basically our, well not our entire dating life, but most of it. Our first, well, we went to a stock car race in Norway. We went to Wendy's and get a God Frosty mm -hmm. and fries. And um, that was the night Luke and I started dating, was after when I was driving home. What are you doing Iron Mountain, Michigan? Uh, going to the movie theater. You ready for dinner? Mm-hmm. Quinnipiac Theater. And then we go downtown Iron Mountain, right? Oh, yeah, eh? Hey. And we're going to dinner, eh? We're going to dinner, eh? So this is downtown Iron Mountain and the Super One where you get your groceries and the family video store that closed in downtown. Don't forget to go there for your pasty. This is the fancy place in Iron Mountain. Poison's house. Should I try that again? <laughs> <laughs> again. Whoa. Again. Whoa. Oh, it's right. My boyfriend brings a lot of boys to New York. You will soon find a new hobby. We don't need any more hobbies. And if you're ever in Iron Mountain, you gotta make sure you come over to this corner into this little park area, find the geocache. Do you remember it being over here? I guess it's not there anymore. We got a picture on this bench, do you remember it? Can I take a picture from there to here? Pretty good. <laughs> and we gotta find the Polaroid. <laughs> no, it's not Polaroid. It's an actual picture. No, it's Polaroid, isn't no, it? No. Let's go recreate another photo. I took a photo of you in front of this building right here. It was right here, except for the cars weren't here. <laughs> it's got a picture of you right here too. But you, you had to like, you did the face. Like the, but you like held up a rock and roll sign. No, just one hand. Something like that. And this is what you do when Liz says, I want ice cream. You go to the Iron Mountain Mall. And that's what you do in Iron Mountain. Instead, I want to be an outdoor cat. Can I be outside with you guys, please? Are you okay with being on YouTube? Uh, yeah. <laughs> now you ask. Thanks. <laughs> Well, I take the video first, and then I ask. <laughs> yeah, it's working. Land. Yeah. Look at how beautiful that looks. Oh no, we saw photography wrong. What? No, I'm just kidding. So it's been a little while since you guys have gotten like a tour and I wanted to give you guys one of those. So this is Smalls. He's a G3500 Duramax diesel. Uh, he has 160,000 miles on him. Definitely has his share of issues because he's over 10 years old and he's 2006, but not as many issues as really anybody else has with the vehicle. So our cat box, uh, this is usually where the litter box goes and up there is a hole where the cats come down and use it. There's plenty of space down there for them to use the litter. Extension cords down there. This is our stowaway. We keep all of our outdoor gear and extras, like Liz's sweater. This is our telescope ladder that we use to get up here. 
This is an Oru kayak. It's a tandem. We uh, that's one of the reasons why we put up the decks that way you can have that. Uh, like we have a foldable bike in here. I have a scooter in here. Like I said, Liz's sweaters, extra things for on the road when we need them. This is an RV window that I wouldn't really recommend it, but uh, it's kind of worked for us because we just wanted some airflow in the back, so we put a window that could slide open. This is a table that I built that folds up. I built that out of scrap decking that was from the deck up there. This is our toolbox. This is where we keep kind of our outdoor kitchen stuff if we want to cook on this table with an extra jug of water, sleeping bags, and our tent. This is our 30 gallon propane tank. Construction deal, like forklift propane tanks. So really easy to fill and take off. A full tank, one of those we cook every day, it lasts us months. This is our door. We're able to put a bolt lock on here. We did have the bus door. We tried to work that in, but it just didn't work out for us. Uh, we keep this towel here for when it's wet. It was raining for a couple days, so we have that here. We keep a couple gallons of water in there. We keep some some more exercise equipment for outside and just really just a place just to throw things like keys and things like that. Center console slash toilet box. Um, on top of here, we keep loose change and toilet paper and really just random little things, paperwork. This is our solar system. It's all in this corner right here. We have our charge controller that is connected to our uh, 400 watts of solar panels up top. And then that goes into our battery that charges. Uh, and then we also, when the vehicle is running, we have a DC to DC charger that also charges this battery because we can't fit a second battery. So we have to have like backups because we have such a small setup here. This is our small Phoenix, tiny little backup generator, office space slash lounging area. This is our oven. We keep this on top because cats here. Nice size oven works for us. These drawers, our kitchen utensils go. This countertop and the sink are from Ikea. Down here we have pots and pans. Under here is our pantry. And down here is our water and our trash. This is a foot pump that goes up into this faucet. Very simple, no hot water. It's just not something that we decided that we needed because whenever it does get cold, we try and head south anyway. And when we need hot water to do dishes or to wash small items of clothing, we just heat it up. A living room. <laughs> we have our closet. Uh, usually our dirty laundry goes down here. This is my side of the closet up here. And this is Liz's side of the closet. She usually has all of her sweaters up here. Now it's kind of Charlie's lounging area. This is our TV. This uh, TV has a DVD player in it. We don't have internet built into the bus. It's just not something that we wanted to prioritize. This is our fridge. It runs very efficiently. It's running right now and I can set either side to a freezer and or and fridge and or both. And down here, this is where the hole for the cats go to use the bathroom. And over here we keep uh, shoes. And this is our bed. This is a drawer on drawer glides that pull out. And then this back cushion flips down onto here. Pulls all the way out. We do make our bed every morning and every night. The back door does open because the stowaway is on a swingaway hitch. Nice little back breeze. Down here we have storage. Usually our camera gear is down here. Extra pantry items such as dry goods, winter gear, <laughs> delicate things, uh, you know, things we don't really need all the time. This is Liz's folding closet. So this is like our dresser and this is technically like my dresser. So this is where I keep my t-shirts and things like that. Most of everything that you see in here was built out of scrap wood. This is our Maxer fan that also runs off solar. Keep in mind that our bus is completely off grid. So this is our this is our home. This is what we live in and we love it. It's not for everybody. It's built just for us. If you guys have any questions, be sure to comment down below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe and have a wonderful day.